Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give you an overview about JDA Space Planning. So I know I've been referring to this program as JDA Space Planning, but when you log onto your computer at school, you'll actually go to this icon here, this orange icon that you see on my desktop. It is called Pro Space on your computer. Here I have Open JDA Space Planning, also just called Space Planning on our computers. So this is the workspace. So the next thing we want to do is we actually want to adjust our manipulation settings. So I'm going to go back to this home tab and I'm going to go back to settings and I'm going to click settings again. And I'm going to go to manipulation. So manipulation is what the program allows you to select. You want to make sure that everything is selected. I don't think you need to have segments selected, but you can click on segments if you'd like. Just be sure to make sure you can select all of your fixtures. Um, so go ahead and check all these boxes so that you can um, manipulate the fixtures and click on things appropriately when you're creating your planograms. And once you've got those boxes checked, go ahead and click OK. Now let's discuss the workspace in JDA. So this is kind of the main screen that you will see when you launch the program. This is the screen for a new project. Um, inside this big main tab, you'll see that there's also a little tab that holds that project. So you can have several projects open at the same time and they'll pop up as little windows down here. We should only have one project happening at a time. So here on the left side, we have what is called the Planogram Explorer, and you're gonna to wanna to have this open. If you do not see this window on the left side, um, you can activate it by going to View up here in the tabs right at the top, and you can click Planogram Explorer. So you want to make sure that this is always on. So I'm going to go back to the Home tab. So here we can see that we have Project 1 established. And there are several little tabs here inside the Planogram Explorer. However, we're going to stay in this Products tab right here that has this little barcode on it. And as we build our planogram, um, the project will be the basis of the hierarchy, as we learned, but you will start to see that there will become a planogram inside this project. There will become fixtures inside that planogram. Let's discuss the main tabs up here. We have the Home tab. Here we have the properties. Um, you can see uh, the product properties, the planogram pro properties, and the project properties. Um, you can do basic edits like copy, paste. Um, you can zoom into your planogram. You can check your warnings. And then importantly, this is the bitmaps button. So this button will show images if they're not showing up in your planogram. You can also do some selections here, but we have adjusted our manipulation settings so that we can select everything we need to select. The next tab is our build tab. This is where we can create planograms. We can add fixtures. We can add products. Um, we won't mess with the positioning tab much. Um, we'll learn how to create drawings like text. Um, and there is some alignment. Um, but we'll mostly do this by using shortcuts. We won't be using the data tab in this program for this class. The other main tab we'll use is the view tab. So once we get into um, building our planogram, you can view it from the front, the side, the top, and there's also a 3D view, and you can also do split views. So you want to check all the different angles of your planogram to make sure your dimensions are correct, that your shelving and your fixtures are placed correctly, and we will not be using the advanced tab in this program. So the main tabs we will use are home, build, and view. Okay, so 
here we have a project. We can double click on this to give it a project name. I'll just call it test. Um, we'll go through many uh, projects before you build your main planogram, but um, know that you'll always want to give your project a name. To create a planogram, you can go to your build tab and you can click on the create button under the planogram section of the ribbon. And of course, this is where you'll want to enter the name of your planogram. Uh, you'll want to enter the dimensions, which are like the dimensions of a wall. And then you'll click OK and you'll have a wall. So I'm just gonna click create. So we have a really small wall here. Here we have the fixtures tab. We'll learn how to create um, all of these fixtures in a separate lesson, but to start, you'll click this little arrow and you'll click on the um, fixture you want to create and it will give you a pop-up window. And you'll have to give every fixture its own individual name. You'll give it specific dimensions and placement of location. So I'll just make a little shelf. Oops. And I'll just click OK, and it's placed it here as a bottom shelf on the base. However, I do have the abil ability to move this shelf around by clicking on it. So I can move it freely, or I can double click on it and adjust, and adjust the height of the shelf um, very specifically in this location section. Under the space tab, this gives um, the shelving a the what is called the merchandisable space. And this is basically the height limit of the product that will sit on that shelf. So you wanna make sure the height limit allows for the size of your product. Otherwise you will get an error. This tab, you will click this button to create your products. Your products will require an ID, a UPC, a name. Um, you will not need to input more information than that for this class, but notice that you can put manufacturer, supplier, and brand information. Here um, on the next tab is the size. This is very important. So you must include dimensions, both height, width, and depth for all of your products and they need to be realistic. And so I will discuss how to estimate these dimensions in a future lesson, but just know that you will need to have dimensions for all of your products and they will need to be pretty specific and realistic. And the final tab that we'll use for products will be the image tab. This is where you will upload an image of your product and so You'll want to make sure that your dimensions match the proportions of the image of the product. You also want to make sure that there's no white space around your product and that you have the image uh, cropped to the edges of your product. And then once you create uh, a product, you'll click OK. And now you can see in my planogram explorer that there is a plus sign next to this test uh, project. And if I click that button and I continue clicking these plus size, I see these folders and here I've gotten to my product. So once you start inputting products, you'll just simply have to expand the folders and the planogram explorer to access your different products. I didn't give it a name, so it's not showing up. So let me give it a name. And now product one is showing up. And it's just a one by one by one cube. So it's being sh shown up on the shelf. Um, to make adjustments to the placement, we will learn about this in future lessons, but to make adjustments for the placement of fixtures, you'll double click on the fixture to start. Um, we've already talked about the space tab, but we do have merchandising tabs for X, Y, and Z. So, you know, X left to right, Y up and down and Z front to back. And so depending on how you want to adjust the spacing, you will go to one of these tabs. 
if I look at this, I can see that um, this item is stacked on top of each other. That would be a merchandising Y problem. So I would wanna go to my merchandising Y tab to adjust this issue. And there are options here for product positioning, placement up and down, the number of units high, where is this starting from? What is the height of the units? We will be mostly using the placement up and down and the number of units high. So if I click here on number of units high and I click only one and click okay, now I don't have that product stacking up on each other. I just have one unit on that shelf, even though it's very, very small. So that is an overview of how to create a project with a planogram, how to add a fixture and how to add products into JDA space planning. Next, let's look at the view settings. So if we go to view, we are in our front view, which is the view that we will be working in most of the time. However, you're going to want to check your work in the side view, which shows um, the uh, depth of my shelf here. We also can go back to the view tab. We can see a top view um, as well as a 3D view. And once you click on 3D view, this will go into a 3D mode and this will orbit around. And then if you want to exit this 3D view, you'll go back to the view tab. And if you wanna start working on your planogram again, you will click the front view and you'll continue working on your planogram. So those are the main tabs that you will use to save your project. You'll click this icon in the top left of your screen and you will go to save. You will click save and you'll want to make sure you give it a name. The computer does create auto saves of this project, so you'll want to make sure that you give it a name so that you don't have your project name auto save of whatever. This file will create what is called a PSA file. We'll learn about the other types of files in future lessons. So I hope that this gives you a little bit of an overview on how to use space planning.